Hey guys, Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another mail day. I think this is mail day number four on our list. I usually try to do five or six cards at a time to keep these videos quick and short. And again, reminder, my mail days are different than most of your mail days. All of my cards, at least the slab ones that I'm not looking at grading myself, um, go to the vault. And so they go to my PWCC vault. It's a great service and a great source and allows me to bring you these uh, front and back high def pictures of each of the cards that came in my mail day. So without any delay, Let's check it out. So here we go. We got my vault picked up uh, on the screen over here on the left. In the first card, I told you guys, uh, and I've kind of been talking about this a little bit here and there over the past three or four weeks, is that I'm starting to pick up some colored low pop uh, early Panini era LeBron James prism colored cards. And so this is a, a second year uh, Panini prism. LeBron James light blue die cut. It is a PSA 10. It is serial numbered to uh, 199 as you can see on the back in just a second. We're going to flip there. This is a pop one of 14 um, and there's your serial number on the back down there at the bottom. Uh, I really think it's a good looking card and it's a nice little move here. The inserts from the early Panini Prism area uh, Prism era were uh, super low pop. Uh, even the base inserts were were pretty scarce, uh, scarcely included in the boxes. And so, unlike today, where you're pulling all sorts of inserts in almost every single pack or every single hobby pack of uh, of Prism. Back then, the inserts were unique, and of course, they have the parallel inserts like this light blue die cut. Anyway, I like this card. It's the brilliance insert. So that's card number one. Uh, card number two, we've got. Uh, let's see is uh, really excited about this one. So this is sort of a big dog. This is a big one for me to check off. I have the 1997 Metal Universe PSA 10 in my collection already. This is the 1998 Metal Universe base card. Uh, but when you say break base card, don't vomit, don't puke on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, base cards from the Metal Universe set are a little bit different. This is actually a Pop 24. If you look on here, this is card number one in the set. Um, you know, it's not a precious metal gem. It's, it's the actual base metal universe from the second year of metal, uh, metal universe, 1998. Uh, as you can see, it's a pop 24 out of 560 cards graded by PSA. So that makes it pretty unique, pretty rare. I'm very happy to add it. It wasn't cheap, but I think I got it at a really good price to be quite honest with you. Um, like I said, I'm interested in pretty much any Jordan cards from the 90s that are population 100 or under. I think those are all really good long-term investments. And, uh, you know, this is not so much an investment as it is just me wanting to put the card into my collection. Uh, I really like 97 and 98 Metal Universe. Um, I'll probably do a video on all of my Metal Universe cards that I own, the base uh, and the parallels at some point. Uh, Metal Universe Championship included in there. So uh, I'll probably do a nice video on that at some point, just kind of talking through that. Um, you know, obviously a lot of the Metal Universe cards will be featured, you know, throughout the year on my Explore the Card episodes that come out every Friday. But that's card number two um, in our mail day. I think there's six total cards. Card number three, for those of you who have not been watching my channel, number one, hit the subscribe button. Number two, you may not have heard, I am trying to collect the entire uh, 1997 Metal Universe PMG G red set PMG is precious metal gems it is a uh, serial numbered to 100 um, parallel card that came in the first year of 1997 metal universe this is uh, this is Keith Van Horn and I paid an exorbitant price to a uh, very uh, reputable collector friend of mine who had a duplicate uh, this is a pop, uh, pop one, just two of them graded higher. For those of you not familiar with the set, there's 90 reds and 10 greens. Uh, they're serial number to 100. They're silly, silly condition sensitive with etched foil all over the place. Uh, so to get a card in a PSA 6 is probably about average, maybe slightly more than average. I would say maybe 5.75 would be about the average. I know, you know, they don't do quarter grades, but that's about the average PSA grade that I see, um, you know, based on my experience. And they're getting even more tough uh, grading those cards uh, going forward, uh, which I can attest to. Uh, but that's card number three on, our, on my mail day. Card number four, again, staying with the same theme. This is a Priest Lauderdale. Great name, terrible player. Uh, kind of looks like Matumbo, so uh, don't get too excited. It's not. It's just Priest Lauderdale. Uh, PSA 5, so about average. Pop 1 of 3, only one graded higher. 
Not much to talk about there, but even the back kind of looks like Matumbo a little bit. And he's seven foot like Matumbo. Uh, he's actually seven foot four, and I think Matumbo was maybe seven four or seven three, something like that. Uh, next in line is our Bi uh, Brian Russell. People mispronounce this Byron because of the way he spells it, but his name is actually Brian Russell. Uh, even sportscasters to this day still mispronounce it and mispronounce it on the day that Jordan hit his last shot for the Chicago Bulls to win game six and his sixth uh, NBA title. Uh, this one is graded uh, simply off. Authentic. And so, uh, you know, again, I am trying to collect a set in PSA and BGS slabs. Uh, if it's in a PSA slab and it's slabbed authentic and does not have a numerical grade, I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, I have no problem. This honestly looks like it's in about the same condition as the five and the six you just looked at. But, uh, but Brian Russell, there's only two of these ever graded by PSA. This is one of them, and this one's graded uh, authentic. So, again, famous for... Uh, for the Jordan push-off slash crossover pullback. Uh, next, rest in peace, uh, Lorenzen Wright. Uh, I believe he was murdered. Maybe he wasn't murdered, but I think he was actually murdered. Uh, I know he has passed away, so he's no longer with us. Uh, this one's in a little bit rougher condition, but it's still, even though there's some issues down here at the bottom, still managed to get a PSA 5. Again, there's not a lot of consistency with how PSA grades uh, these precious metal gems, but this is pop one of two, none graded higher. So that just gives you an indication of how difficult it is to grade these cards. This Lorenzen writes a PSA 5, and it's the, uh, the highest graded. But uh, that's it, guys. Just those five cards. You know, you've got your LeBron die cut, the 98 base Metal Universe Jordan in PSA 10 condition, pop 24. And then some super unique and rare uh, 1997 precious metal gems. So that should give you a pretty good snapshot of exactly what I'm doing with my collection now. Chasing the PMG set. Buying uh, rare non-rookie LeBron cards, early year Panini era prism colors and inserts. And then uh, always looking for highest graded possible 90s Jordans under 100 pop. So pretty low risk stuff, pretty long term stuff. Uh, not a lot of flipping going on in Cajun Cardboard's world uh, recently. That's a, that's a pretty good indication of what I've been doing with my money over the past 60 to 90 days. Uh, so... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Seven minutes is probably a record for me for a video. Uh, that's it. Just keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And uh, peace, fellas. I appreciate you listening.